Hi viewers, how are you? I am hopeful that all of you will be fine and excellent. Dear students, in the previous lecture or video we have discussed that the human beings are known as the supreme creation of Almighty Allah because they have been blessed with the power of thinking. And then we have discussed different types of thinking perceptual thinking, concrete thinking, non-perceptual, abstract, critical, divergent and convergent types of thinking. Today we are going to discuss about the most important type of thinking that is known as critical thinking. This uh, is taught a subject for professional degrees, B.A., M.A., etc. And the name of the subject is Critical Thinking and Reflective Practices. Reflective Practices is the second part of this uh, critical thinking which we will discuss later on. But today we are going just to uh, have a brief introduction to the term critical thinking. In our daily life, we only think that critical thinking is the type of thinking through which we find out the weak areas of a person, of a writing, whatsoever it is. That is pseudo type of concept. Critical Thinking is basically positive thinking. It is the type of thinking in which there is critical analysis of something or of a problem in using the logic and reason to find out solution of their problem. So critical thinking is a systematic thinking by using logic and reason to solve the problems. Critical thinking is not related with common issues. I don't have the meal and I don't have the job. No, it is not related with such uh, trivial types of problems. It is concerned with high order thinking. So let's see what is there in critical thinking, this is the title of the course that is critical thinking and reflective practices. But what is critical thinking? According to Edward Glasser, 1941, dear student, just imagine that today we are teaching critical thinking and reflective practices in 2024 to our students. And Edward Glasser in 1948 has written a complete book on critical thinking. So from this you can evaluate the quality and the standard of our education. He defines critical thinking as it is the ability. It is God gifted ability to think critically. Critically means the type of thinking where there is the involvement of logic and reason. Logic, if I say it is wrong, why it is wrong? If I say it is right, why it is right? And if it is right, why? Give me the reasons. By involving, three things are involved necessary, vital, compulsory for critical thinking. The first one is attitude. Attitude towards problem. This attitude may be positive or it may be negative. Unfortunately, maximum of the people of the modern world, they are pessimistic. Instead of altruistic, instead of philanthropic, having negative attitudes, 
so attitude is the foundation of critical thinking if attitude is negative critical thinking will always produce negative result but if attitude is positive towards the problem then the result will always be positive towards problems problems means issue obstacles blockage but in thoughtful manner thoughtful manner not to solve the problem in easy way in thoughtful manner thinking is involved not patience not emotions the second one after the attitude it goes to knowledge of the methods of logical inquiry and reasoning problem is identified now how to solve that problem that problem can be solved by using the methods and that method should be logical it should be inquiry based and it should be based on reasoning and it is known as lic lic means that the methods based on logic inquiry and reasoning sorry reasoning are used for the solution of problem a i r and after you have the knowledge you can come to skill knowledge without skill is useless skill can survive without knowledge but knowledge cannot survive without skill for example just look to this video it's a skill skill for application of methods these methods must be properly applied if there is a problem there is a method and the method is not properly applied result will be zero let's come to critical thinking tree the history of critical thinking is almost 2500 years old in its origin or its originator is socrates socrates was the greek philosopher he was having the method of teaching through asking questions and answering the question question answer method it is question answer method is also known as socratic method it starts with socrates after socrates it's come to plato plato was the student of student of socrates and after plato it came to aristotle these three were from the greek and they taken the issue of critical thinking socrates presented the method of question answer questioning the existing belief you know socrates was poisoned he was presented with a cup of hamlet because he was charged by the dictator there of the greek that he is corrupting the minds of youth he was not corrupting the minds of youth he was making the youth critical that always go for the solution of a problem by using the lir logical inquiry and reason then aristotle is known as the first master of critical thinking after this three there came al farabi al farabi is known as the second master and he was from early middle ages he was the second master of critical thinking and he 
came up with two concepts regarding the world. He came up with the high immaterial world. High immaterial world which is based on the concepts of divinity, heaven, hell, religion, God, angels, religion, whatsoever it is. That there are two types of world. Higher immaterial world and lower material world. This higher immaterial world is exempted of generation and decay. For example, we are living in this material world. We have the birth, we have the old age and then we have to die. But immaterial world is exempted of it. There was another person whose name was Thomas Aquinas. He wrote a very famous book that is known as Sunna Theologica. Sunna Theologica. Sunna Theologica is used for the verification of beliefs. So many beliefs are prevailing in the world. But critical thinking is that tool which is used for the verification of that belief. After this, we will go to the concepts of Socrates, Plato, Aristotle. If we come to these three, they were of the view. That reality is often very different from what it appears to be. They, 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 they cancelled the belief of seeing is believing. They were of the view that what the reality appears to us of us is always different. For example, I'm staring in front of you people. You are thinking me as a negative or as a positive. But by the external look, you accept me as a human being because I'm wearing the clothes and I'm using the language according to the needs and according to the demands of the situation. By appearance, I'm a human being. But this appearance may be deceptive and uh, there is a very uh, famous novel uh, which starts with the same sentence that appearances are always deceptive. It was written by Jane Austen and the name was Imma of the novel. Secondly, Special minds are prepared to comprehend it. Special minds. The minds which are blessed with critical thinking because there is the process of discovering the higher immaterial world and the lower material world which is based on generation and decay. Delusive appearances. I am delusive appearances because I am standing in front of you and you are thinking that I am a human being. It is possible that I may not because of my thinking. Appears on surface. Appears on surface I am looking and visible to all of you. But this is called surface thinking. No, we have to go in depth thinking. And in depth thinking in the light of inquiry, in the light of Logic in the light of reasoning that is called critical thinking. And the deeper realities of life. Life is not the name of eating, sleeping, marrying, producing the children. No. This is just a surface thinking about life. Life is a noble, noble trust. It is designed by Allah. For the accomplishment of noble actions, it is systematic thinking. After 
Thomas Aquinas, we come to 15th or 16th century, that is known as Colette, Erasmus, Sir Thomas More, Francis Bacon, and they came up with the concept of ways of thinking. Ways of thinking means that human beings are different from each other and when there is difference in a human being, there must be difference in their thinking. From this 15 to 16, let's come to France. In France, Descartes, he was a French educationist, he wrote a very famous book for rules for the direction of mind. He was of the view that mind is an independent entity. It is multidimensional in nature. So there is always the need of thinking to bring the dispersed directions of mind into unidirection. Thomas More, very famous book, Utopia, where he applied critical thinking regarding the political system, regarding the qualities of the rulers. He was of the view, world is there for critique. Anything which is present in this world is always open to criticism or critical evaluation. Macaulay, Macaulay wrote The Prince. The Prince is a compact book. We deal with the, the, the types of government, the types of rulers, the types of people. In 16th, 17th century, Hobbes and Locke, they also came up with critical thinking. In 17th and 18th, Adam Smith wrote a very famous book, Wealth of Nation. Wealth of Nation was written by Adam Smith. William Kant, critique of Pure reason, critical with the, the, the reason which is based on critical thinking is known as pure reason. Darwin, Darwin also wrote a book, Descent of Man, in which he discussed critical thinking, and at the end there is segment, uh, segment Freud or segment Freud, who came up with the psychoanalytic theory. So dear students, it was about critical thinking and reflective practices, but please always remember these foundations, because without these things you will not be able to understand critical thinking. Subscribe the channel and enjoy your life. Thank you very much.